Today we're working on our Volvo Penta 8.2 GSI, very similar layout to the 7.4. So if you got a 454 engine or a 502, uh, it's going to be a very similar layout. The 496 is a little bit different, uh, but a lot of similarities in the, the 496 or 8.1 liter as well. Um, same goes with the Mer Cruiser. There's a lot of similarities between these. Components are a little bit different, but overall they're very similar motors. So what we're going to be doing today is replacing the thermostat and on this particular motor it's going to be in the metal housing right here we've already got our flame arrestor aka air filter off um, so the bolts that hold uh, this housing down one of them is right there and the other one is back here so what we need to do is get the throttle body off. The throttle body on this particular motor, motor is held on by four bolts. One, two, and then two more down here as well. So I'm going to get those off and get this uh, throttle linkage disconnected. And then we'll start working on the thermostat housing itself. We've got those four bolts off. And I took this nut off to get the throttle linkage disconnected. Put the nut back on just so that it's uh, there, it doesn't get lost. Now, if you tilt the throttle body back, you can see we've got a little bit of access here, but I think we need to disconnect this hose as well so we can lean this entire thing back. There's uh, a few wires connected to the throttle body, those two sensors right there, and I'm gonna disconnect those just so they're out of the way. And then I'm going to disconnect this hose right here so that I can, um, you know what? Actually, I'm going to disconnect this hose so that I can lean this entire thing over here. So let's do that. I took off these two hoses, that one and that one, and laid them off to the side. And now I've got a clear picture of where our bolts are. There's one here and there's one here. They're 14 millimeter head bolts. For this one, you're not gonna be able to use an open end wrench or even a closed end. You're gonna to have to use a socket. And as you can see, the throttle body is sitting right above it. So you're not gonna be able to get a socket with a straight shaft on there. Um, you're gonna to have to use a swivel like this. So um, I'm gonna put my socket on here with an extension on the end of it and then to my ratchet. And then hopefully that should give me the clearance I need be able to loosen that guy up. Now that we've got those two bolts out, the thermostat housing is loose. Um, and I went ahead and loosened this clamp and this clamp. I'm gonna pull these two hoses off and I think I can leave this hose on, but once I get those two off as well, then I can flip this guy upside down and access the uh, thermostat on the back side of it. So I got this one hose off I think I can just leave that one on. It's jammed on there pretty good and I don't have great access, so I'm gonna try to leave it on if I can. Here's the bottom side of the thermostat. This is after about, I think, three years based on the service records for this boat. Nice and gross. It still works, but since we changed the impeller and the impeller had some bits that fell off of it, I wanted to make sure that we pull the uh, thermostat in case there's any of those plastic bits from the impeller that uh, got lodged in here. It doesn't look like they did. I think most of the plastic bits were right in the impeller housing for the water pump. Um, so we're gonna pull this guy out, put a new thermostat in, and I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of gasket material on, uh, on this surface here. We're gonna pull that and put a new gasket on as well, uh, get it all freshened up, and then put it back together. I mangled up the thermostat pretty bad trying to get it out and I just realized there's an o-ring in there holding it in place but now that the uh, spring and everything's out of the way I can see the o-ring. I'm not sure if you can see in the video. It's right here all the way around. You see the black o-ring there? So that has to come out first before the thermostat will come out. This thermostat's spinning freely. Um, I think that o-ring is the only thing holding it. So I'm gonna use uh, this little tiny screwdriver or maybe a pick to Pick that uh, o-ring out of, uh, of the little groove in the housing and hopefully once we get that o-ring out the thermostat should come out as well. And there's the o-ring 
and you'll have a new one that came with your kit. Let me put this aside. And while I was getting the O-ring out, the thermostat came loose as well. There's the thermostat. And if you look in there, there's the groove that the O-ring goes in. Hope that makes sense. So we're gonna get the new one in after we get these uh, gasket surfaces cleaned up a little bit and then put everything back together step by step. All right, we've got that surface mostly clean. I'm gonna clean up these last little bits. That surface is nice and clean and ready to go. And I'm gonna clean up that little lip a little bit where the O-ring goes, then pop the thermostat in there and start getting this guy back into place. Everything's cleaned up, ready to go. Here are our new components. You've got your new thermostat, um, the housing gasket that goes between the upper and lower housing, and then the O-ring that holds the thermostat into the housing. Um, if you don't remember how it came out, first the thermostat will go in there, then this O-ring will go into that groove that will hold all that in there. That gasket goes here on this surface between the lower housing and the upper housing. Um, and then, uh, so that, that gasket I'm gonna put in last before I put the bolts through and everything. Before you put that uh, the housing onto the, the lower section and start bolting it together, you really wanna get these hoses back in place. This guy, um, this hose here, and this one, it's really difficult to get them on, those three in particular, while everything is bolted together. We've got three of the hoses on, this one here, this one here, and this one here. Um, I'm gonna replace the uh, plastic clamp that was on the end of this one with a stainless steel one that is easier to remove and reinstall. Um, so I'm gonna grab a stainless steel clamp for that from the house and bring it back. And then this hose, the large one that goes uh, down there, it's a little this direction and this direction. That one I'm gonna put on after the thermostat housing is bolted down with the new gasket. So after these three are on, uh, right now I'm gonna go ahead and get the new gasket lined up underneath. And what I'm gonna do is put one bolt through it. Um, this top bolt uh, hits this guy the throttle body uh, flange if it's uh, if, if this housing is lined up where it's supposed to go. So what I'm gonna do is put this bolt through and uh, then slide it underneath the flange where it goes and use that bolt to line up the gasket on the bottom and then put that bolt through afterward. And while you're at it putting all this stuff back together, make sure to put these hose clamps on in a direction that makes sense so that you can easily access them even if the previous bonehead installer did not and made your life real difficult, make sure you do yourself a favor and put them back on in a way, an orientation that makes sense. We got the housing on, got this bolt and the bolt down there tightened up, got this hose on as well, which again goes down there. Um, we've got all our hose clamps oriented in a direction that makes sense. Uh, I'm going to go grab a stainless steel clamp. I think this is probably half inch or maybe three eighths. Uh, or I'm sorry, five eighths. Yeah, it looks like a five eighths. Um, I'm going to grab a stainless steel hose clamp for that one, a warm drive, uh, get that put on. And then the last step is to put our throttle body back in place and we should be good to go. Um, I went ahead and while we were here, uh, pulled off the hose for the steering cooler, which is back there. Um, difficult to see right there. Just to make sure there's no bits of the impeller that ended up in there. We're all good and clean. Um, during this process, I went ahead and flushed out all of the hoses, just back flushed everything. So we should be good as far as any rubber bits from the impeller that may have made their way through the hoses. I think everything's out at this point. Um, so we're going to get a stainless steel hose clamp, get the throttle body back on, and then we should be good to go. Hope you enjoyed this video and it's helpful for you. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm always happy to help. Like, share, and subscribe, and see you next time.